Hello all, welcome to openmentor.net. Let us continue with Loadrunner on some of the real world schedule configurations. So far we have used basic schedule with iteration and duration. Now the same script, I am going to use real world schedule. The moment I use real world schedule, it has a starting configuration, duration configuration and stopping configuration. In any system, users do not directly bombard the system. That means not all thousand users just hit the same time right at the first shot. The crowd slowly builds up, whether it is traffic, whether it is movie theater, whether it is schools, whether it is banks. Crowd slowly builds, then it attains the peak, then the crowd slowly disperses. So, if you want to configure that, Suppose I want to run 20 users, what I'm going to do is, I go here, double click on this, start say 20 users, rather than starting all the users simultaneously, I'm using start two users every uh, say 10 seconds, you can configure this. Now if you see here, this graph will show you 10 users will keep on building. So initially only two users, after that two more users will come. By the end of one and a half minutes, all the 20 users would have got into the system. Now, after attaining the peak, how long you want to run? I double click on the duration. I set run it for say two minutes. So the users slowly ramp, down, ramp up, then they run for two minutes. Then how to stop the users? Then we are going to say stop uh, say four users every 10 seconds. So the moment we say that the users will be removed out of the system, that means five user, four users every 10 seconds. So in five steps it reaches zero. So the total scenario time is the ramp up time, peak time and the ramp down. So if you mouse over here, it will tell you the timing of it. So by almost uh, 4 minutes and 10 seconds, the scenario will be over. Now let us run this one. So I click the start. You could see initially there are only two users running. After based on upon our uh, ramp up configuration, after 10 seconds, it added another two users. Again after another 10 seconds, another two users will be added. So if you see here, this way we are slowly bringing users inside the system. So it is always better to ramp up users and then make them to run in peak load then ramp down. It is highly unlikely that all thousands of users will be coming to the system right at the first second. It takes some time. In every system, whether it is banking industry or healthcare industry or any industry, it slowly builds up. So, this is a real world schedule. We are mimicking how exactly the users will run in real time. Right now, these users is not running. You will see an initializing command. You could, you could see for a fraction of a second. See, initializing, it, it shows this on your mark symbol. Initializing meaning, it executes the v user init procedure. Exiting meaning it is running the v user end procedure. When it says running, it runs the action procedures or the functions. So every user will be initialized. They are now initializing. Now they will run. They are running the action. Once the time is over, they will all be exiting. During that point of time, they finish the action function, then they move to the uh, v user end function. On the right hand side, you will see something is failing, right? So you can see here what kind of error. If you click on this error, it will show you what kind of error it is giving. Now I am clicking on it. It shows uh, CPU usage of this load generator. This machine is exceeding 80% of its uh, uh, CPU. So from the place where you run load runner, that itself is uh, taking more than 80%. These are all called runtime graphs. If you see here, 
if you double click on this it shows this it is running v users how many v users are running now it shows x number of v users are running the users are slowly ramping up now they are on the peak if you double click it will come back to the normal level if you double click on this hits it is hits per second how many hits by the users are reaching the server you could see when users are increasing hits are increasing when users are constant hits are constant right so if you double click the graph will come back to normal these graphs are again based upon the transaction enablement and windows resources we will see them later so i click on this v users <coughs> now we should be almost reaching uh, i think we we specified run for 2 minutes from 1 and 1/2 uh, minutes to 3 and 1/2 minutes it will be running in peak after 3 minutes and 30 seconds you will see the users slowly exiting the system let us watch so this way you can configure load runner especially the controller the way you want to mimic the real time users look here now these four users are gradually exiting it will not abort the user it will ask these users to gracefully finish the script and then come out of the system now eight users are almost exiting after 10 seconds another four users will be exiting it will follow the exact pattern that you have defined in the design tab so what you are seeing is the run time tab if you go to the design tab that is where we configured the real world schedule if you notice here some users who started early they finished more iterations users who started late they finish uh, lesser number of iteration which is quite normal now i think when once all the users are coming out yes it is all done though it says stopped with a red mark it is not that it is it is it is failing if you see here it says succeeded so it is not though there is a red color over here don't worry it is not a failure now if you come back um, all the users are finished so this is called real world schedule in this real world schedule you can create the start number of users with the ramp up pattern then the total duration then how to stop the users with that we stop this session thank you for visiting openmentor.net